It's just a passion of mine. You know, I, I love cars. Jason Wells can do it all. You need brakes, oil changes, light bulbs, uh, your battery replaced, uh, wiper blades, things like that. And he's doing it for a good cause. First and foremost, right, share, share God's love. Um, but it, at the same time, uh, repair, keep the community safe, one automotive repair at a time. Jason is the founder of Mechanics of Faith, a nonprofit that fixes up donated cars for our veterans. I come from a long family history of um, veterans uh, and servicemen. Jason works with another nonprofit that helps homeless vets get back on their feet and gives them a set of wheels so they can get around. We repair the vehicle and get it fixed up for the veterans, and then we donate that vehicle to the vets once they finish the program. He's already donated five cars and is working on three more. It's like a double whammy, man. And some, and some days I sit in my truck and cry after helping somebody because I'm overwhelmed. And then that's how you know you're doing the right thing. Restoring cars and a little faith in humanity. Now that's good to know. Nothing you can do good enough to recognize a vet, as far as I'm concerned. And he said, you guys have touched me and made me realize there's more to life. It just gives you chills when you think about it. There's a little silver lining if you look for it. There's good in everything. I could see the light in his eyes and the light go off in his head of like, oh, I can do this. Hearing your life come out in a song made me stop. We just want to make people happy and make them smile. It's crazy right now, it's dark right now. I mean, it seems like you can't find the light at the end of the tunnel, but just don't give up. Today is for veterans. We thank you for your service. Our storytellers have found communities all across our country dedicated to thanking you and helping you. And we're proud to put the spotlight on all of these positive stories. I'm your host, Lindsay Boach, and we begin with a veteran who's documenting his journey to help his brothers and sisters. I broke my feet and I cried. I've never cried from pain in my life. It happens to the best of us. This is John Preston in January, feeling overwhelmed. With a documentary crew following him, the plan was to hike 22 miles a day for 22 days with 22 kilos on his back, about 50 pounds. This is part of his mission to stop the 22 suicides a day among our military that included his brother. I trained a lot. But a few days into the hike along the sunny coast of California, the rain came and this happened. Infected and blistered feet was pretty bad. There was nothing that was going to stop me from walking, but carrying the pack was something that, that became the problem. For me, I was stubborn and fighting it, and, and that was my brother in there. I, I had a lot of his personal belongings in there and, and, and things that were my burden. I might at some point need to have to take it off my back. I actually made a post on social media and it was amazing, it, the fire service blew up. They, they were there as quick as possible saying, can I take that off your back? Uh, veterans, police officers from all over the place continued to show up to want to carry the weight for me. So it was the first time in my life that I asked for help. Ironic, huh? That's been the crux of Preston's message for years. What do you see in my face? since he started producing music about post-traumatic stress following his brother Mike's suicide in 2016. I can't what Mike Preston, devoted son, husband, father, a retired Marine, living in northern Kentucky, serving as a police officer for the city of Newport. Mike did not ask for help. I hate him, but I love him because he was my father. And when he was alive, he was very good to us. He, he was my best friend. But I do hate him for the things he has put me through. While most of the filming for John's documentary would be on the West Coast, where he now works as a firefighter, he'd have to come home to greater Cincinnati to get to the heart of his story. How suicide has impacted my family personally? You can mend your life. 
You don't believe it, but you can. You've got people you can talk to. Don't do it. Just think about what you're leaving behind. Think about how this is going to affect other people. I just miss them. I don't know why you left us. Still hear the sounds of the motor around. Preventing the lingering pain of losing a good man or woman. It's been the purpose of his music. Now through this 22 and you walk, John Preston admits he's getting, step by step, the grace that comes from sharing burdens with the very best of us. We started this! We started this! We're going to finish this! We're going to finish this! Police officers at one a day, the fire service is one every two to three days. The veteran community is 22 a day that we lose. And when you check out, it's just us left. And every pain and burden that you had before, we get it. So I'll continue to do what I'm doing until I can't anymore. One life! My life! My life! My life. Your life! Your life! One life! One life! My life! My life! Your life! Your life! We're gonna finish this! By definition, the word victory means defeating an enemy, an opponent, in a game, a battle, or another competition. But here at Victory Gym, it goes so much deeper than that for every single person inside. They answer the call, and if there was ever doubt or fear in their heart, love of country washed it away. They are our men and women who faithfully served in the armed forces. And they are also our first responders, our firefighters, EMTs, police officers, healthcare professionals, all of them always on the front line. But that great honor is not minus great heartache. Some of the stories that I hear from these guys, um, they're really heartbreaking to hear what they went through and how they struggled when they came here. Physically. I'm a disabled veteran. My injuries range from I need major surgery on every body part. And then there's a mental toll it can take on their minds, their bodies, and their souls. If you did not realize that the suicide rate among our veterans is alarming, concerning, well, it is. The one thing that we fail to realize is when these gentlemen and these women uh, go overseas and they represent our country and fight for our country. When these guys come back and these gals, you know, they're out there struggling. That is why Victory Gym in Brownstown Township was born. To help rebuild the strong, the mighty. To help them rediscover themselves and reconnect with society. We're open to all veterans and first responders. They're absolutely free. Our founder was uh, Mike Emery. He believed that physical activity can truly help heal mental stresses. So Gary and John have taken Mike's mission and maintained its integrity, its positivity, its priority. I'm 82 years old, got out of the Marine Corps honorable discharge. It helps you mentally to deal with things that go on in your life. Once you get in the gym, everybody's the same. Victory has programs for people suffering with PTSD to help them work through their problems and other issues. So we are here to help these individuals that protect us get back into life and to enjoy life. I've seen people who, you know, were here on a cane, who were here in a brace, and that's not the case anymore. Everyone here volunteers their time. Every piece of equipment is donated. This is how they are making a difference and saying thank you. And you can too. They do it out of kindness of the heart. Is it fair to say that this has been life changing? Yes. Yes, it has. We are a family. That's right. Family. By blood or by bond. We're just getting going. Coming home. What does that even mean? I was a soldier for a long time, uh, been retired for a couple months now, and uh, this is just helping uh, me process what I've been through. We're celebrating our vets. It's good to know. <laughs>